in Ohio. Weird places, things, and worst of all, monsters. But is any of this even real? I recently went to Ohio and here's basically what I found. Oh, he's running. Oh. 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 Yeah, it was pretty crazy. But there's one thing I didn't find, which is in all the Ohio videos, all the Ohio memes, and that's monsters. So I basically failed my mission. I didn't really find what I was going there to look for. So I think I have to go back. And I have to answer the question, are there really monsters in Ohio? So I hopped on a plane back to Ohio. I did some research and I found out there is so many local monsters just to Ohio. I don't really know anything about them. So right now we're going to go to a library, see if we can get any books on these monsters. After checking the entire fiction section, we ended up finding monster books in the history section, which made me believe that monsters might actually be real in Ohio. We found some ghost stuff, some monster stuff. We're bound to find something. After reading through a ton of monster books, I've narrowed it down to four monsters that I'm going to go after. These are the monsters with the most sightings and they're only in Ohio. First, the orange-eyed monster. And all people have seen of him is his glowing bright orange eyes. Said to be extremely dangerous. The Peninsula Pythons, two of the largest snakes known to man, said to have swallowed multiple people whole. They're pretty dangerous. Melon heads, the result of a mad scientist's experiment, said to not be friendly. Also very dangerous, and there are literally hundreds of them. And then finally, the most popular monster in Ohio has taken down entire boats. And that's the Lake Erie monster, Bessie. Okay, so these books cover the monsters in kind of crazy detail. This makes me believe that monsters are real. But there's one problem. They don't really go over how to find the monster or where they are. So I think we're going to have to go find someone that does. Luckily, there's a shop that's like an hour or two from here. That is a monster shop. So I'm assuming the owner is going to know where to find them. And the shop was weird. It was perfect. They had all kinds of monsters. This looks like an octopus. What is this? <laughs> Kind of like looking for Bigfoot areas or like Mothman or any of that type of stuff. There's uh, trails and caverns and all kinds of stuff in different spots through Akron. He told me where some monsters were, but he also gave us a website that had a monster and showed exactly where they've been seen. I was starting to believe we could actually find monsters. So we headed to the first location on the website where the orange-eyed monster had been seen. So we have, of course, the Polaroid. I see a picture of a monster on Instagram. Monster or is it edited? Because you never know. This is the only way we can get physical proof of monsters. Using all of my tools, I searched for the orange-eyed monster. Multiple people People have said they've seen the same pair of glowing eyes. It could be the lights from a car or something. I don't know. I just want to get to the bottom of this. Oh, dude, I see like footprints, I think. It's like under a layer of ice. This one exact area we were in had 12 sightings of the orange-eyed monster. So I was thinking we were 100% gonna find some form of evidence. If these monsters aren't real, why do so many people believe in them? Why are there so many monster sightings in Ohio specifically? We're gonna go to the next place and just keep going to places until we find 100% proof of a monster. Peninsula Python. Apparently there's two massive pythons, which are snakes, 25 feet long, that could potentially eat either one of us. What's that look like? That looks like a snake to me. Here, snakey. So far, we had had no luck finding any monsters. But for this next creature, the book said hundreds of them exist. So this one should be easy to find. The melon heads. They're not creatures. Apparently, they're orphans that a mad scientist took, experimented on them, and now they have big heads. Like, they look like Megamind. So we began searching using a thermal camera so we could see stuff better. Is there something glowing? Like, see right there? Like, what is that? That's a different color. We actually found a clue this time. There were footprints, and they weren't normal. It's just some toes right there. We follow the footsteps down to the water. Good God, the melon heads. <laughs> and after a lot more searching, we took a picture of the footprints because we didn't really end up finding anything. But there is hope to still find monsters. Okay guys, here's the situation. Looking for literally any proof I can find of monsters. And we found a website showing where they've actually been seen, which is crazy. I haven't actually found any, but 
there's still one monster left. And I believe almost 100% that we can find this one over all the other ones. And here's why. This one has the most sightings. And it's even been on the news. This one, I'm going all out. I need to find this one. Or Ohio monsters aren't real. And finally, we're here at Lake Erie. This is the lake where Bessie lives. And later, we would be going to this lighthouse, which is exactly where Bessie has been seen from. But I say mission number one is to talk to some people. We got to find out the scoop about Bessie. You heard about the legend of Bessie, the walking monster in Lake Erie? Over on Kelly's Island, yes. But you're not getting to Kelly's Island anytime soon. She said we can't get to Kelly's, Kelly's Island. Island. Okay. I bet we can get there. The ice had froze like half of the lake, so they weren't doing any boats over there. But because it was frozen, we were able to walk around on the ice to see if we could find anything. Ah! <laughs> I just fell in there! Oh, it's so cold! And as we were leaving, we ended up running into this guy. No, nothing, nothing. I just didn't see you coming. I heard of uh, Bessie, like the Ohio monster guy, a painting of Fleming. So we went to this painting the guy was talking about, thinking we would find oh. some clue. I, I don't know how this is gonna help us. We had explored pretty much everything, I hadn't found too many clues, so it was finally off to the lighthouse, exactly where Bessie has been seen multiple times. So we began our journey. I keep seeing this symbol, I don't know what it's supposed to be. These symbols kind of looks like Bessie. They could have been meant for a warning, but instead of warning me, they made me want to go even more, because it's even more proof that Bessie is out there. So we kept journeying on. Ew, that looks treacherous. I don't know how we're gonna do this. We had to get to this lighthouse. I've spent four days in Ohio looking for absolutely any proof of monsters. So we began climbing across the iciest rocks I've ever seen. Don't, don't do anything like this. This is really stupid. It's so extremely windy, I can't even explain. Both sides of us was just straight into water. If we slipped, we would end up like that fish earlier. We're almost there. The sole reason I came back to Ohio was to find monsters. That is the goal. I wouldn't be able to sleep at night if I knew I didn't give it my all. And then finally, we made it to the lighthouse. That is, <laughs> look, that is what we came across. <laughs> So we began searching, looking around every square inch using the Polaroid, thermal camera, our eyeballs. We were using literally everything. And then... But they're bobbing. Hey, that's just an old Dude, it's literally... I found something. Was that stuff in the water, Bessie? I want to find something so bad. I want to believe. Had all my hard work finally paid off? No, it... It was just birds. Ton of birds floating in the water. I thought we could actually find monsters after seeing these books in the history section, finding websites of people that have actually seen them. But after four entire days in Ohio searching for monsters, I found absolutely nothing. Why do so many people believe in these creatures and these monsters? Did they maybe see something years ago and are just holding on to it? Kind of like this Ohio meme? The Ohio meme, it's, it's done. I'm killing the Ohio meme. We should have left it with last year, to be honest. This is the last Ohio video ever. Guys, real quick, right after I finished filming and editing this video, I saw that a train had crashed in Ohio, leaking dangerous chemicals, endangering a lot of people and animals. So I want to take this opportunity and to ask you guys, if you can, to donate to any of these GoFundMes for the victims. I personally have donated and anything helps. This would be so appreciated. Thank you guys.